Here we go, do si do. Come on, baby, let's go. Boot scoot. Cadillac, black jack, meet me out back. We're gonna boogie. We're gonna boogie today. It is Friday, 8:34 a.m. Man, you're getting an early start. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo. Did you know that I speak fluent Spanish? Mas cerveza, por favor. That is as fluent as I can get. So here we are. Looks like we're on a sweet start to the day, except if your name is Russell, Russell 2000 down 20 points, crude oil, about time, about time you're up after some slippery slopes, no pun intended, you know, oil slippery. It's it's one of those corny dad jokes you got. Okay, so we've got some information in, right? Jobs report posts huge beat. Way more jobs, non-payroll or non-farm payroll jobs up today, way more than anticipated. And unemployment did not go up. It went down. In fact, it went down to match the lowest rate since 1969. Well, the market's saying right now, um, is good news? Good news? I don't know. I don't know. But I look over here at the big board and I might just start closing out all kinds of stuff. (laughs) Close it out while you still can case the market sentiment changes because that's what goes on a lot on a Friday, especially after information data, economic information has been received. Sometimes the initial reaction is not the reaction after digestion. So if we look at AMD, AMD went through the moon yesterday. So we've got this put credit spread with an 81 short leg. And if we can get out of it right now for 15 bucks, I'm going to do it because I'm not going to watch this thing all day. It's already acting crazy down 1.7% today, maybe because it went up a little too high yesterday. So can we get out of this? Still saying a low likelihood to fill, probably because of the action jackson. jackson. We collected 115 bucks. If we can get out for 15 right here and right now, then we'll do it. Let's see if it can fill up and close out. Hold our breath. And it's done. Okay. Whew. Okay. So we did make 10% on that deal because we had $1,000 up for collateral. We put that trade on on May 3rd, and today is May 5th. <laughs> so in two days, we had a nice little trade there on the A, the M, and the D. Next up, I'm just going to let this Citigroup ride, though, because it's a 53 short leg, and it's currently trading at 45.93, even though it's up 2.28%. It's not getting to 53 bucks today. Where's that magic eight ball, Bart? I already shook it and asked the eight ball is, can you tell me, is Citigroup going to the moon today through my $53 strike? And it said, no chance. So I think that means no. Uh, Caterpillar is making a run, making its way up to you, babe. It'll cost me, I don't know what, it's saying it'll be a, probably about seven bucks, huh? Seven bucks per. Close that. We have five of them. That would be $35 bills. Ooh, baby boy. <laughs> what? That sounded weird. On May 2nd, we put this trade on, collected $235 in the premium, and we can get out for around 35 bucks, it says. So we will probably do that as well, even though consensus would say, or is it Confucius? Confucius say, let it ride and collect all the dollar bills. Or no, just get out while the getting's good in case the market turns on you. I mean, we're pretty safe here. Caterpillar's up 2% today at 214.61. Our short strike is at 207.50. I don't mind. I don't mind paying for peace of mind if I still get to pocket dollar bills and as we've said before, you don't go broke taking profit. Da, 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 hit the rim shot. Pa, pa, <laughs> Ooh, you're in a good mood today. I'm in a good mood because life is good. Life's been good to me so far. My sweetheart girls, my baby girls, kid one and kid two, they started on their journey yesterday morning and they arrived in... Where did they arrive? <laughs> It has some fun name like Sunshine, Nebraska or something like that. Uh, So they arrived safely yesterday for the first leg of their journey. Then they've got a seven-hour drive today to the Brush Creek Ranch in Wyoming. So they'll be uh, 
they'll be arriving. Let's see, carry the one, probably three or four p.m. today at the ranch. Well, they will work the rest of the summer, so I'm excited for them. I'm excited that they have this opportunity. I'm not excited for me and Lady that we have to be without them all summer, but that's part of the plan. As at some point they have to leave the nest, get out, fly, 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 butterfly. All right, Chevron is doing well today. It is up to 159.22, nearly 2% up. And our strike is 155. So we can, let's see, we collected what? $107 bills. $107 bills. I'm confused. <laughs> oh, I see. I am confusing myself. So that was May 2nd as well. $107 on this put credit spread we're not shy we're not shy at all can we get out for five it says maybe just maybe so it'd be twenty dollars would cost us to get out in this scenario but we'd be out and we would well i tell you what this will be a debit this time how fine sir release collateral of two hundred dollar bills i mean two thousand dollar bills and we would be off the board with that as well so that was twenty dollars. So we netted, we netted carry the one. How much? <laughs> That'd be eighty-seven dollars. We netted eighty-seven dollars. Man, you are out of your mind today. I'm just giddy. I'm already done my workout. The reason is, is that lady could not go with me today. So we divided and conquered. She has an appointment this morning. So she took kid three to school. And I left for the gym before he even left for school. So that's why I'm already done. I am done and having a good day because the sun is out. Sunshine today. It was a little chilly this morning, but it's supposed to be, what, high of 68 or so? Let's see. Let's check the old. Let me get the barometer out and the wind vane. <laughs> high of 74. Hello. So welcome to... Welcome to Northwest Indiana. Hey, we're up 20,000 bucks today. <laughs> that should be. You've been down like a million bucks this week. Ooh, what else we got? A little Starbucks action here as well. So the MPW, uh, let's go to MPW next. We got 10 of those credit spreads between seven and six. They're up a dollar or they're up 1.61% at 855 a share. So it would still cost us 10 bucks to get out on our $60 we collected. So at this very moment, we're going to let that ride. Medical Properties Trust. I think they had a, didn't they report earnings recently and did pretty good? Or No, that was Arbor. Arbor reported this morning was like hitting bombs. They were cranking triples off the wall. So MPW looks good right now. We'll let it ride along with Citigroup. Starbucks, though, what's it at? 104, oh, 105.80. Up over 1%. Looks like it's going to cost us probably six per. So that'd be 30 bucks. We collected 130. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that if you are. Fine, sir. So it still says low likelihood, but that should fill. That should fill right up. Cost us 30 bucks to get out, release a thousand dollar bills, and book a hundred bucks net. hundred bucks to the net. What are you waiting for, Starbs? I did have a Starbucks yesterday. A lady brought him home from her $200 hair, hair appointment. <laughs> like, how often do you go? Well, every four weeks. Hey, I caught you. You said it was every five weeks. Well, that was before. Now I need more attention. Oh, thank, thank goodness my haircut costs $0.0 .0 because my beautician is also, aka my wife, why hasn't this filled for $30? Leave it on the board for now. Leave that on the board. What else is up here on the big board? A visa. We got visa V right there, 220 slash 215, and it's at 230. Riding. See me riding. See me rolling. How's it go? <laughs> oh, don't start it. You're giddy, and it's Friday. It's sunny out. What's going on tonight? I can't remember. I think we're going to go out to a little dinner. Go out with my bride to a little dinner. 
Kid three claims he's like, uh, I'm having people over tonight. I'm like, no, no, you're not. So one of his old buddies from like good friends since kindergarten, Harper. Harper's got a girlfriend named such and such. I can't think of it right now. But she has a good friend that I think has the eyeballs for my son. And I was trying to explain it to him. <laughs> and he's like, no, we're just friends. I go, dude. <laughs> been this scenario before believe it or not i mean it's more not believe it but he's got way more swag than i had at his age so he thinks they're all coming over here tonight to watch a movie whatever whatevs we'll see so me and the lady will probably go out for a nice dinner do you want to close this thing down or let it ride i mean it's visa did you know i didn't even know visa's business model <laughs> I've been using them for years and years. In fact, I get, um, what is it called? It, uh, you ever heard of Companion Pass on Southwest Airlines? So we basically run as much as we can through our Southwest Airlines visa, and then we get airline points for our flights. And then after a certain stage, you reach what they call companion status. So whenever I fly, Lady can fly with me for free. Hello. So it is, for those that like to travel, which is us, it's quite a hack. So we have companion status and have had it for many years and already have it through next year, I think. Let me do the math. Carry the one. No, I think it's through this through this year. And then by our estimate is probably by July or August, we'll have it through the following year. So we got that going for us. And then what I was saying about Visa's business model is I didn't realize they didn't actually lend the money out. <laughs> They're just basically the toll booth. They're just collecting the money, collecting the fees, whereas the banks are the ones that are risking it for the biscuit, loaning the money out for those credit card users. Because what we do is we have our credit card, I think it's plural. We also have a Chase, Chase Sapphire because they have great travel uh, benefits as well for hotels, rent a cars, things of that nature. So between the two, we have them automatically paid off, set up for an auto full payment every month. So we do not carry any credit card debt. In fact, we carry zero debt whatsoever in life. We have no personal debt, no business debt, no real estate debt on our rentals. All based on the trauma that I experienced, the PTSD back in 2008 when I had debt above my eyeballs. It was over my eyeballs over my head all five foot eight of me five foot eight if i'm wearing the right shoes so do we close visa i'm gonna just for the moment let it ride why would you let it ride it's gonna cost ten dollars how much did we collect 115 let's close that too fine you talked me into it ten dollar bills we have five contracts on that we got five on it we're going to go with the debit. You can take $10 from me, release the collateral, and I'll just live happily ever after. Where are you at, Visa? What is taking so long to fill these at full ask? Come on. Give it to me. Give it not, Give it to me. I'm worth it. Anyways, my point on Visa was is they hold none of the bag. The bank holds the bag. So when these overspenders go belly up, which is probably going to be coming up soon. Visa takes none of that damage. So how about that? Got that going for us. Where was our other pending offer or order? What was that? Starbucks, right? So that's off the board. Very nice. Okay. We've got a Verizon. What's Verizon doing? It's probably pressuring my 38. Nope. They're down today. 37.29. So we are just fine on our $38 calls. 14 contracts there. We'll let that ride into the sunset. Caterpillar, that's next week. It's a 200. What's what's Blackstone doing? Tell me. Oh, I know why it's showing that I'm in the green is because I rolled that thing out and collected a bunch of money. I sold the long leg, put a bunch of dollars in my pocket. I think I did. Yeah, I did that in a video yesterday. Put some dollar bills in the pocket, rolled this 82 out a week to next week and put some more dollar bills in my pocket. It would cost me a lot of money to get out of it right now, though. Four. So it wouldn't be the full number, though. Let's go with two just to see what the math is. 800 bucks. Get out. 
and I'd have to run all the math to see what I've collected in total, but I have no interest in doing that at this moment because my anticipation is, is that Blackstone will be well above $82 by next Friday. So nothing to do there. We just don't have much left on 5.5, do we? So we'll have to keep combing through the action. I anticipate that Visa, I'll probably readjust it. I don't know what I would have to do. Go to three? No way. You take my offer now, kind sir. Uh, let's first look at, so we're at over 410 now on the SPY. So that's good. And our big board on the watch list. Okay, it looks like my phone just told me that Visa has executed. So that one's off the board now as well. So we really have nothing to do on these expirations today unless Verizon gets pressured, which I don't think is going to happen today. If they do, we'll roll it. If not, it's going to expire at full profiteer, full profitability. So we are above 410 on the SPY. The big board on our watch list is looking pretty, pretty green. So far and the so good. How about our friend Valero? Are they finally up today? They're up almost 3%. Very nice. We got that going for us. Exxon Mobil up. We've got positions on them. All right. So EOG resources. That means I've got a call that's in the money right now. Katera, I think I got a, do I have a 26 out there? So we'll look through all that coming up. Thanks for sitting here with me on this fine morning on a fine Friday, Cinco de Mayo, May 5th. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next video.